Hey guys, welcome back to the Life Elevated Trailers YouTube channel. Got a really cool build for you today. This is the perfect trailer for a weekend at the track and or to take up into the mountains to kill that big deer or do some hunting or recreation with the family. So let's jump right into it. This is a Look Element SE seven and a half by 14. It's an awesome size for dirt bikes, side-by-sides, quads, all those things. It tows really nice because the footprint isn't a full eight and a half wide. So you can see around it, it's not pushing nearly as much wind, but it also has that really, really kind of key size that still holds all your side-by-sides, dirt bikes and everything else without being a full width car hauler that you have to drag down the road. Let's start here at the front. Um, we have the nice black diamond plate appearance package on this. And then we added this matching black diamond plate toolbox. Inside this toolbox, you've got kind of a hint at what all the goodies are inside of this thing. There's a diesel fuel tank, a trickle charger for a battery, a 12 volt deep cycle battery, and all the pumps for the diesel heater that's mounted inside. One little thing that we've done here at Life Elevated Trailers, a lot of people don't realize is diesel, the pumps on these diesel heaters click. And if you're trying to sleep in your trailer with a diesel heater going click, 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 it keeps you up at night. So we moved that out to the toolbox so you don't hear it inside the trailer. And then right on the back of this, super stealth, we have a 110 plug so that if you want to plug this trailer in, you can have 110 power charging your batteries. Um, in supplement to that on the roof, we have a 100 watt solar, solar panel charging your batteries as well. Quick note, just to show you the durability and kind of the stoutness of this trailer. This is a two by six triple tube tongue. What that means is it has three tubes coming back into the main frame and the main frame is a six inch tube steel frame. Um, obviously there's an awning on the side of this trailer really big nice footprint get you out of the sun and you can see how far that awning's headed out into the shade right now i can be all the way out here and i'm still standing in the shade so it's really giving a nice footprint there um and then we have the black accent stripe on this with the led lights under the awning lighting up the area at night when you're hanging out nice rv door we added a second hold back on this trailer. These are the little things that when you get out to use it, you're like, oh, these guys know what they're doing. We added a second hold back on this, allows you to pin the door in place with the awning out so that you're not constantly fighting this door flapping and hitting the arm um, when you're trying to use the trailer. Coming inside, you'll see this thing's decked out with the white vinyl walls and ceiling, the Nudo floor, which allows you to pressure wash the inside out, any dirt, gas, oil that spills, super easy to get out of this trailer. Um, and then if you look up here, we've got our, this is called the Moab sink. It comes in our Moab trailers, but we've actually repurposed it to put it in some cargo trailers as well. This has a five gallon fresh and a five gallon gray water tank in it. This um, faucet just has a built-in switch inside of it. When you turn on the faucet, it turns on a pump and, and works all integrated like that. Um, the diesel heater is actually hidden in the bottom of this cabinet and here's the output on it. It could be zero degrees outside and this diesel heater will heat you right out of the trailer if you have it on high. They pump an incredible amount of heat very reliably. They sip fuel and you've got a thermostat, digital thermostat here on the wall so you can set the temperature to click on and click off automatically as you're in the trailer. Right above that, as I mentioned earlier, we've got the 100 watt solar panel on top. This is your charge controller. Right now it's pushing 16 volts and the battery's sitting at 14.2 volts, just perfectly maintained. Another really cool feature we added is a slimline power inverter right here. So this is a thousand watts of power that runs off your batteries. So this is piped into your battery outside in the box, turn it on and it gives you 110 power at all three of these without being plugged into anything. That takes 12 volt power, converts it to 110 and allows you to plug in your 110 accessories. This is a water, fl water flush Thetford toilet right here. Allows you obviously to use the bathroom with a water flush non-compost toilet so that you don't have that kind of gross composting toilet smell. Um, one of the very cool features we added are these beds that are here on the wall. So these beds just have a very simple click system right here on the wall. You push out and that's it. Bed comes down. If you're afraid, if you're kind of a wild sleeper, you can pull this out and flip this arm up. And then you've got a safety bar in place while you're sleeping so that you don't feel like you're going to roll off the bed. Um, we've had two full-size adults on these. 
because this built, trailer's built so stout with the 16 inch on center construction in the walls, meaning that there's a tube steel stud that's an inch by inch and a quarter every 16 inches, this trailer doesn't flex, the wall doesn't bow at all with two full size um, men on it. So you're good to go there, swing that down, pick this up, and that's it. You're locked in, ready to go. Top bunk, exactly the same thing, comes down super easy. You don't have any kind of, there's no like setup, pins, things to pull, things to snap, up, down, super simple. And then down here on this wall on, on the low side, we've put in E-Track. So this bike, this, this trailer is built for someone specifically that likes to go to the track and race motocross. Practice on Friday, spend the night, race on Saturday. It's too easy. These are the Moto Pro HQ wheel chocks. We'll show you in a picture here that'll pop up. But that's a bike loaded in here on these wheel chocks. And then both of these beds are down. So at night, he can bring the bike into the trailer so he doesn't have to worry about it going anywhere. Sleep comfortably, wake up the next day, and race. With the heater, you're not going to be cold. And then obviously, we have a carbon monoxide detector down low so that if there was any potential for some fumes to get in the trailer, it will wake you up and won't kill you. Um, the last little things that we've done are just these overhead gear holders. Obviously, you can hang all your gear on these so it can dry out and be ready to go the next day. All your controls are here on the wall, power awning, lights under the awning, window to open, roof vent to get some airflow through here. But as you can see, this trailer for just simple getting out for a few days and sleeping comfortably and hauling all your gear is awesome. We're super pumped on it. Um, side note, let's say you're a side-by-side -side guy. You've got 81 inches of gap in between these fenders here. So your 72 inch wide side-by-side, -side, pull your Moto Pro wheel chocks out, which is super easy. They're an E-Track system. Drive your side-by-side -side in here and take this up into the mountains to go hunting or just to hang out with the family. If you pulled that side-by-side -side all the way forward in a two-seater, you could easily put your bike in behind it as well. Um, some quick specs, just because I know guys are going to ask. You've got a 78 inch rear door opening here, that's six foot six. And then your narrowest point is, like I said, 81 inches in between these fenders. Um, and so then you've got tandem 3,500 pound axles on this. The trailer's going to weigh in under probably around 2,800 pounds. So, you know, you've got 4,200 pounds of capacity you could also put in here. Um, so, I mean, this package is just awesome. And it's super cost effective compared to the the kind of money you're going to spend to get a toy hauler that accomplishes all the same things. Granted, it'll be a little more like home inside, but for the money, nothing beats the value you get in this trailer. So give us a call here at Life Elevated Trailers. Just a small example of the really well thought out custom trailers we build. And they're built by guys who actually ride dirt bikes, who actually ride side-by-sides, who go snowmobiling, who understand what guys want to put in here and so we build them correctly with all the little touches that make using the trailer awesome so give us a call and we'll help you out thanks for watching guys